Hey there, it's Roland from Getting It Done North of 7. Today we're going to be hanging this towel rack on this hollow bathroom door. And I'm going to show you how to do it so it never comes loose and it never wiggles out of your door with a couple of home improvement hacks. So the first thing I want to show you is in this door, there are two previous holes where this towel rack holder once held. And there was nothing wrong with it other than that the ring that was on here kept falling out. And uh, it wasn't slipping out of these holes or anything. But, like the towel rack holder was not falling out of this door. Because normally when you put screws into a hollow door and you try to hang something on here, eventually the screws, like this, a normal screw, doesn't have much thread to it. It's skinny and it'll just wiggle its way out of there with the weight of the towels or the bathroom, whatever you're putting up there. So the first hack we have, remember, remember I said there was two hacks. This is the first hack and you're gonna love this. We're gonna use these hollow door anchors. Now you can see these have big threads, but at the top it narrows up. Now this hollow door anchor is short and I'll show you it's only going to go in so far. You don't have to worry about it coming through this side and also the screw isn't uh, longer than the thickness of this door so you don't have to worry about it coming through. Now the beauty is these hollow door anchors are self-tapping so you don't have to pre-drill holes here. You can just put them in and so luckily these holes line up exactly with the new bracket that's going to go on there to hold the towel rack. So I'm going to start driving these in with my gun. Now I'm only going to go so far because as you drill this in, this particle board, press board, it swells out because you're putting this in there and it sticks out here and it won't allow the anchor to sit flush with the door. So we're going to back that out. And I'm going to carefully remove all this away from the hole so that the, the anchor can sit nice and flush against the door. There, now it's nice and flush. I'll go ahead and I'll do this one as well. See, I only went in so far. Now I'll back it back out and do the same to this. Okay, now that we have the holes ready in the door for the anchors, I'm going to show you the second hack. Here we have some PL. We're going to put the PL, put a thin, just a very thin layer around the top of this anchor. And that is going to make these anchors sit in here just like they're cemented in. This here is PL, it's only three times strength. This is construction adhesive. For heavy duty construction jobs, I usually use, usually use the 10 times strength. This is only three times because this is not really a heavy duty job. Now I'm going to use this PL tube with my caulking gun. You can buy PL at your local store like Home Depot or Lowe's and you can buy it in a tube as well if you don't have a caulking gun just a squeezable tube. So what you want to do is just squeeze a little bit out on a piece of paper towel or tissue just like that you don't need much that's probably too much but that's all right. And then I'm going to take a q-tip I'm just going to take a little wee bit on here and I'm just going to put it around the rim of this anchor. You don't want to put it on too thick. You don't need much for this job. It's really sticky stuff, so and it dries quick. Okay, so now we're going to take the anchor and we're going to screw it in with a screwdriver so we don't overpower them right through and we're going to take it right
right in flush. Now you can see that PL is squeezing off. And we'll just take a tissue and clean up the excess that comes out. Okay, I got the other one ready with the PL around the rim. And we'll drive this one in too. Okay, now we're going to put the bracket into these screws. Or should I say into these anchors? Looper. So what's going to happen is you can drive the screw in and it's going to hit the bottom of the anchor and it's going to come to a stop. And it'll break through. And we'll put this one in, then we'll line it up and make sure it's level. Vertically. Just line that up by eye. That's good. Make sure it doesn't move. Yeah, looks good. Now we can install our towel rack. Make sure that's tight. And there we are, all done. Okay, now that we have our towel rack installed, you can hang your towel on there, you can hang your bathrobe over here. I'm telling you, look at that. This thing is gonna be strong with those anchors in there, and that PL is gonna cement it to this door. Like you wouldn't believe, that stuff is great. I use it for a lot of things. So there we go, we got our towel installed. We got some wood shavings on the ground. I'm gonna have to get them cleaned up before Beth sees it. We're all here about it. So I gotta get everything all cleaned up. Now I got the towel rack up. I should be in the good books with it. So if you guys enjoyed this video and you enjoyed that hack I just showed you, especially with those door, hollow door anchors and uh, the PL, please hit the like button, leave a comment below and hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell to get notifications when I have a video coming out. I'm going to show you those hollow door anchors here really quick again. This is what they look like. This is what I got from Home Hardware. Now you get some that are actually hollow door anchors, but they're the very same thing, even though these are the ones say for drywall. Again, this was rolling from getting it done north of seven. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video. Okay, our towel rack is on. I'm telling you, this thing is going to be strong, especially with those anchors and that PL on there. Look at that. Nice and strong.